All right, guys, it's Naru, and this is another Reach gameplay. This time it's a Squad Slayer DMRs on Boardwalk. But I don't really know anything about this gameplay. It's about two months old, so I really have absolutely no idea what's going to happen in this gameplay. But I will tell you this in an attempt to comfort you. I would not have saved it if it was not at least halfway decent. So I'm hoping there will be something at least halfway nice that's in this gameplay to keep your attention but the main reason that I picked this gameplay is because it was longer on time and it would give me time to talk about what I really wanted to talk about and what I want to talk about in this video is the video that I put out about three days ago and it was not a reach video it was a video of me playing Dragon Age Origins and in that video I was killing the last boss in one of the DLC contents for that game and I named it testing the waters and that's pretty much what I wanted to do with that is I wanted to try to get an opinion from you guys that watch my channel on if it was okay or not for me to upload gameplay other than just Halo because I did create this channel as a means to try to help people improve at Halo since it tends to be a lot more skill intensive game a lot more people have trouble with it than say another game like Call of Duty where it's pretty easy to pick up and learn in a couple hours Halo takes weeks and months of times to get really good and basically it got no response uh, I think I got like five views and maybe one comment but no likes or anything like that so I didn't know how to take that so whenever I made my treasury strategy guide yesterday um, I put a link to it in the beginning of that video and still it got no like real response at all. I think maybe two people might have clicked that link and a little bit disheartening but I'm going to give this one last chance is basically what this commentary is. is I really want to find out, I really want your guys' opinion on if it's okay for me to do other games than just Halo on the channel. And that doesn't mean I'm stopping playing Halo or that I'm getting bored of it or anything like that. I mean, I still have a lot of fun when I'm playing with friends and things like that. And I've played with a couple of people from YouTube, which is okay. You know, it's kind of fun to play with people you don't know and try to meet new people. I think I've played with three or four different guys now that I've met on YouTube. And none of them have really been bad experiences. So there's that. But I just wanted to test it out because... I've seen it with other channels, like there was a point there for a while where I was a Call of Duty player, uh, even though I started with Halo on the PC when it first came out in 2001, I played Halo and pretty much only Halo for like two and a half years. But there was a point about halfway through uh, between then and now that I turned into a Call of Duty player for a little while. And Basically what I saw is even though that Call of Duty is much more popular and there's a lot more channels for Call of Duty than there is Halo, that after a while, even on every Call of Duty game, people got bored. Um, they basically just got tired of seeing the same thing over and over. You know, the first couple months are very good for doing things like teaching people all the new changes and stuff like that, but about five or six months in, people started to get bored of it. Uh, they've, they'd seen the same thing too many times and really that's when it came down to only the people that had a good enough personality or had some sort of gimmick to keep their viewers were the only channels that stayed successful and I don't know really if Halo has gotten to that point where people are bored of watching it or anything like that I haven't been in the YouTube scene quote unquote long enough to actually know how it's going uh, I've re just recently made this channel I mean I'm only about two and a half months old now when it comes to actually being on YouTube so I really have no idea what the trends are for Halo or anything right now but I know that people will eventually get bored of seeing you know reach and I don't know when that point's going to be so that's why I put out the video testing the waters I wanted to know if people would be comfortable with me uploading other games than just Halo. Because what I think that'll do is it'll give my channel more longevity, you know. Uh, 
if you've got other stuff to watch, then you might not get bored of Halo as fast or at all if, you know, I'm mixing it up with other things. Um, that particular gameplay, like I, gameplay, I mean, like I said, was Dragon Age Origins, and that's the type of game that I usually like to play when I'm not playing Halo. I like RPG games. Uh, I like games where you're very active in the story, and, you know, you get to make all the big decisions because it feels like a second world. It's like a world that you can escape to outside of your own world. So that's the games that I used to play, like Final Fantasy uh, is the biggest series that I've played probably. But just all kinds of RPG games were what I liked to do when I wasn't playing a first-person shooter or anything, and it still is. I mean, when I got tired of playing Halo 1 for a little while, I would go play a single-player game. It would, you know, keep me busy for a week or two, and then, you know, I'd be reset and back, and Halo was fun again. And I'm thinking it's going to be like the same concept with my channel, is after a while you guys may get bored of it, but if I put out some other games and show some other gameplays and you know maybe introduce you guys to some games that you've never seen or played before that you are maybe you know on the fence about that I could maybe persuade you a little bit to try the game out you know to branch out a little bit more than just playing one game because ultimately if you do play the same game over and over you are just eventually going to get burned out it's pretty much inevitable nothing stays fun forever so that's basically all I want to know is, are you guys cool with me uploading other games? I mean, it, it it's not going to be like limited to Dragon Age Origins, but like I said in the video, that we'll, I'll probably have a link to it somewhere, either an annotation or description, but like I said in the video, it's, it's like the game that I wanted to try to concentrate on now, because I never actually got to complete that game. And it's something I'd like to work on now when I'm not doing Halo stuff. But, you know, I just wanted to see, like, maybe you guys would enjoy me playing that other game as well. Um, Five minutes remaining. I hinted at maybe doing something like a Let's Play with it. Uh, that's going to be a lot more work than, say, like these commentaries are, where I just get my hop hog, record a gameplay, and talk over it. It's a lot more complicated when you do a Let's Play, obviously. Uh, to be honest, if I did do one, I don't even know how successful I would be because I'm not sure if I could actually sit down for like an hour or two hours straight and be entertaining, uh, be able to communicate the whole time. Uh, like, I don't even know if I'm that long-winded. But I think I have improved at my commentary over time because if you take a look back at even like a gameplay that I put up maybe even three, four weeks ago, like a month. Look at how well I was at commentating then and now. I believe I've improved quite a lot to the point where I can talk for an hour. Maybe not, but you know, it'd be it'd be something to try because keeping things challenging is what makes them fun. If something is ever too easy, then you get bored of it faster. So. While I'm not bored of doing commentaries or anything yet, I think it's a nice way to challenge myself and maybe grow as a person. I think it would be fun to try something like a Let's Play, even though I've never done it. I mean, I'm still an amateur commentator in the big scheme of things. I had no experience whatsoever trying to talk to a bigger audience of people b before I made my channel. But... I think I've kind of got to the point where I can do it consistently without too many problems. So I think maybe doing something like a Let's Play would be, you know, like the next next step up. It would be the next challenge to see if I can pull something like that off. That would be fun to me because I like to keep things challenging. That's how I think things stay fun. But I'm kind of rambling now. But that's the main thing that I wanted to know is, is it okay for me to put up other gameplays or... Should I keep this channel purely Halo and then, you know, sometime down the road if you guys decide you want something different, then maybe I can start it? Or should I make another channel? Like, would that be cool? Like, maybe some of you are interested in me doing, like, a Let's Play or something, but not on this channel specifically. I mean, it would be a little bit more work to keep track of two channels. But I think starting up another new channel would be easier than it has been to do this one because... Now I know a little bit better how to commentate. I know a little bit better how to edit videos. I have 
started basically with zero experience when I first made this channel. And I've pretty much grown to the point where I know what I can do consistently and what I need work on. But, you know, if that's an another option, I could always make another channel if any of you guys are interested in me trying something like that, but not on this channel. I can always try to make another channel and give it a shot. Um, but it's that's really all I want to know is, are you guys cool with me doing other stuff? Uh, like I said, it would not mean me stopping Halo by any means. It might just mean, like, say if I did decide to do a Let's Play of Dragon Age, uh, it would just mean that maybe two or three days out of the week I sit down and play for like two hours and try to commentate over it while I'm playing and then upload that and that gives you guys like I know another hour or two of content to enjoy uh, if you'd like it and I mean there's no reason that you would have to watch it if you don't want to and you know I kinda have infinite domain over my channel I can do whatever I want with it but since I've made this channel for other people, not really for myself. I mean, I enjoy doing this. Uh, I like helping people and the satisfaction that I get from feeling like I've helped people. I enjoy that. But, you know, ultimately I can do whatever I want, but I thought it would be a cool idea to give you guys a chance to chime in, you know, kind of decide the future of the channel for yourself. I mean, like I said, ultimately it's mine, but I'm doing it for other people. So... It's not really just my channel, it's your guys' as well. I mean, you come here for either facts, strategies, maybe even entertainment. Uh, so it's for you, even though I kind of own the channel. But that's the whole thing that I want to know. This whole commentary just wrapped up into one question is, do you guys want me to do other games or no? Or if you want me to do other games but just not on this channel you know let me know that too but if you guys enjoyed this commentary or and have anything to say you know don't forget to like the video it helps me get my channel out there uh, the more likes I have the higher up I am on the list when people search for halo videos or whatever it may be and you know feel free to drop in a comment or a private message letting me know how you'd like me to run this channel um, do I just continue the Halo gameplay? Is it alright for me to upload other stuff? Or do I need to make a new channel for other stuff? If you're interested in it but just don't want it on this channel. But that's really all I want to know guys. Is is it okay for me to do this? Uh, I'm leaving it in your hands. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this commentary. And I'll see you guys later.